Uh, welcome to EmergingStar.com and today we are meeting uh, our very senior artist from US Pennsylvania Jacqueline Lima and she is one of those artists who works on spiritual paintings and 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 that is very rare to find such artists and my knowledge may be not more than 15 20 people in the world doing on that subject and she's one of them so welcome jackie to uh, emergingstars.com and uh, tell a few things about your uh, spiritual painting and how it's done huh. well <clears throat> it actually started in my mind when i was in school in uh, arts college because we were studying a pre-Renaissance painting and I was very um, uh, attached to Giotto as many other artists are. Um, but I was interested in how he was struggling to find that, that point. And so that point of perspective, the vanishing point. And so be before they did that, they were looking this way and that way and art bob and also were moving in different directions and that always sort of stimulated me. So, uh, so it engaged me. And um, I sort of went on a quest of, of trying to uh, put a three-dimensional space onto a, in one painting. So I would get these big flat canvases and start in the middle and sort of move to the outside and then I realized that in order to actually achieve my goal, I had to start working on three-dimensional, specifically spherical paintings okay. so that I could get everything, the act back there, back there, up there, up there, up there, up there, up there, down here, all the way around, because we sort of walk around in this little space bubble and we move through space with it. So I not only paint on spherical surfaces, but I paint on cylinders and toruses and other forms, and I did a Mobius strip actually early on, and I'm That's quite doing interesting. it again. Yeah, I mean, you are little, uh, not little, very adventurous in your approach. And I feel you as a person who is very adventurous and it reflects in your work. Uh, so tell me about your, you as a person, the adventurous person. <laughs> My brother's the same way, that's all I can say. You know, I, I just am an adventurous person. I, you know, I want to try different things and do different things, and it's kind of like um, it comes into my mind, and I think, gee, I don't know, you know, I mean, I suppose it can be done if I do it this way, but I have no idea what it's going to look like or if it's even going to be interesting to look at. But, but uh, you know, I'm willing to take that risk. And sometimes it's a little odd, and sometimes it's really interesting. And uh, for instance, your new exhibition uh, in Hyderabad, which is going on right now in Alama Gallery, as well as the coming up in Chennai, mm. is the form you have, you have choose uh, for Indian subjects. It's very adventurous. Nobody tried Indian subjects with a circular form and what what made you do that? Well I started that series in America okay. right, in my own home and I called it Domestic Partners because it was they're basically surround uh, still like paintings of you know I find that and it was catching my eye so I was just making painting of it. Well mm -hmm. mostly looking down it was when this plate dropped and broke that started the whole thing because I now I have the one of the plate and then the one of the bowl and then the one you know I started looking everywhere in, this, in a circular format. So I had sent those uh, paintings to a friend in Calcutta for a show. So I knew they were here in India and when I knew I was coming back to India, I uh, made uh, ten more uh, canvases the same size. So um, it was a continuation of that series, mm -hmm. and I wanted to engage, you know, Indian objects, and specifically Hindu objects. And so, uh, and, and now they're sort of incorporating American and Indian objects. So 
So it's kind of a transcendence, right? But I call it uh, domestic partners, uh, USA and India. So not only that, but not only my domestic partners, but India and America as domestic partners. Yeah, that's quite true. And uh, this is going to be a very interesting subject for the coming uh, days because India and America are both trying to be together, more good relationship. Maybe your, your works will be uh, examples for those kind of uh, Well, it was, fun uh, to meet, it was fun to meet your friend in the gallery the other day because she is based in India, but she goes and stays in America for long periods of time and works there and goes back and forth. And I've been doing the same thing. Only I'm based in America, and I come to India, and I go back and forth. So there's this uh, um, exchange, exchange of domesticity, <laughs> if you will. You know, studio here, studio so there. So Jackie, this is your third visit to India, and uh, India is a country is very chaotic, and uh, but most of the Americans don't connect with India. But you, how it started, and why, why what attracts you to India? to come again and again. Well, it's hard to put my finger on it, right? But I, it, started, it, started and, uh, it started when you invited me here <coughs> for um, in international, 2011. international residency in 2011. And then I came back, actually, within six months, I came back for a while. And then I went back, and now I'm back again. So it's, a, it's my third visit. <coughs> and. Um, Yes, we were talking about this the other day, how, complicate, how complicated India is and, uh, and how that engages me. And my paintings are, my, especially my major paintings, are extremely complicated um, because I'm measuring everything and, and yeah, it looking like here mathematics. and there. It's like <laughs> geometry, <laughs> mathematics, and, and art and poetry all, all messed together, you know? And so, so India, uh, is sort of, it, you know, I engage with it on that. This, this time I've been thinking about its complications and, and, and sort of reveling in the complications. But, it, but it's a place that, that truly intoxicates me. When I get off the airplane, I'm like <laughs> stoned or something, you know, just uh, um, off. Okay, uh, we wish you to come again and again to India and uh, I'll invite you for my next project, uh, maybe. Okay. Uh, so in 2015 or 16, whenever you can, able to come. Yes. And uh, it's always welcome for you and, uh, and it's a pleasure talking to you and uh, good luck for your exhibition in Chennai and Thank for you. the future and uh, hope to see you in India again. Thank you. Oh, I'll be here. <laughs>